Is Six Flags Great Adventure really about to open a b and Giga? What's in this park's future? Six Flags Great Adventure is one of the best amusement parks in the world and today I'm going to predict what new things I think will come to this park in the next 10 years. Six Flags Great Adventure is one of the biggest and most well-rounded amusement parks in the US located in Jackson, New Jersey. The park used to get some of the biggest investments from any of the Six Flags parks but in recent years their new coasters have been a lot cheaper and it's almost like Six Flags was ignoring this park. But that's all about to change because right off the bat I predict this park will open a massive water coaster for 2023. Great Adventure's most recent water park addition was almost 10 years ago and that's way too long to wait in between water park additions. We've recently seen Six Flags open some of these new water coasters and I think one will make its way here in 2023 just a year before Six Flags Great Adventure opens their largest coaster in over a decade. Jersey Devil was the park's most recent addition and it opened in 2021 delayed from 2020. I think the park's next coaster will open in 2024 and I predict it will be a lot better than anything they've seen in a really long time. Great Adventure is one of the parks that used to get a lot of love but hasn't been getting much attention in recent years. Since installing El Toro, the intimate prefabricated wooden coaster Great Adventure got in 2006, the park's addition have been kinda eh and on the cheaper side. El Toro is one of the greatest coasters of all times and it cost a whopping $25 million. Six Flags opened El Toro only one year after opening the $25 million King Ka, and then after spending $50 million on two major coasters opened the Dark Knight just one year later. Since Dark Knight opened in 2007, the park got a relocated B&M stand-up coaster, Green Lantern in 2011, a 4D Freespin clone Joker in 2016, and recently a large-scale Raptor which was later cloned for Magic Mountain. Since El Toro in 2006, they maybe spent a total of $25 million on coasters in a 15-year period when they used to open $25 million coasters every few years. The new CEO looks to be focusing a lot more on this park and I think it'll give them something massive they truly deserve. I predict Great Adventure will open a ground up RMC hybrid for the 2024 season. Six Flags has been giving their favorite parks a second coaster from RMC already. Both Magic Mountain and Fiesta Texas already got two RMCs and I can only guess a Raptor will be going to Great America soon. Great Adventure never got a hybrid coaster so I predict they will open a huge Hyper RMC for 2024 and who knows maybe it will become the best coaster in the world. I really can't think of a cheaper way to get Great Adventures back on track to becoming the park it once was. And opening a hybrid would also be a great play in preventing Hershey Park from getting one in the very near future since the two parks are huge competitors. In 2025, I think the park will focus on improving the overall experience like some things they are doing now for 2022. Maybe a new restaurant or a ride repaint for Nitro or something, but nothing major. For 2026, I think Great Adventure will open a new flat ride. Their most recent one will have opened in 2019 and I'm predicting they'll open the world's tallest air race just a few feet higher than the one Fiesta Texas got in 2020. I think the new Six Flags management will still buy flat rides in bulk for parks as they've done in the past and it seems like a great ride. 2027 will be 3 full years since Great Adventure opened their RMC but I think they'll take a break this year. Maybe they'll do a water park expansion or something but all eyes will be on what's coming for 2028. 2028 will be the craziest year for the park in its history. I predict 2028 will be the year Six Flags Great Adventure finally opens their B&M Giga Coaster. Now hold on, before you think I'm crazy, hear me out. This park is the perfect candidate for a Giga Coaster from B&M and it could even be one better and taller than Fury. The problem with Great Adventure getting a Giga is obviously price. Fury was $30 million and a bigger and better Giga would cost closer to $35 million today. However, if you account for the cheap investments Great Adventure got this last decade, you'd realize it could work. Since 2011, Great Adventure got three new coasters totaling less than $20 million. In the same time period, Magic Mountain got seven new coasters. Magic Mountain's coasters since 2011, I would estimate, cost around $45 million. When you account for the fact that Great Adventure got $25 million less in roller coasters than Magic Mountain, a Giga suddenly doesn't sound as crazy. 
But it's not only Magic Mountain that spent a lot more money on coasters in recent years. Great America's coasters also add up to close to $45 million and Fiesta Texas aren't that far behind either. Great Adventure has really been neglected and they are a perfect candidate for a BNM Giga. They also have no height limit and have more than enough land to fit such a massive attraction. As crazy as this sounds, I think this will happen and I'm predicting it for 2028. Hershey Park is the Great Adventure's biggest competitor and they just spent $150 million in 2020 on Chocolate Town, which included a $30 million BM Hyper Coaster. If Six Flags doesn't step it up with Great Adventure, the park will start seeing the effects. When your competitor spends $150 million in a year, they gotta find a way to compete, and I think the new CEO will give this park the world's tallest Giga Coaster for 2028. 2029 I think will be an off year for the park. They will have just opened their largest investment in two decades and I think they take a break from the massive investments. 2029 is also the year I predict the park will announce that their B&M stand-up coaster Green Lantern will be closing and honestly I don't think anyone will be upset about this. By 2029 Green Lantern will be over 30 years old and the coaster probably won't be in the best condition, especially since it was relocated from Kentucky Kingdom in 2011. Most of B&M's stand-up coasters have been converted to floorless, but Great Adventure already has a floorless, so this ride doesn't really have a future at this park. Honestly, I never thought Green Lantern made sense at this park. It kind of felt like Six Flags was just dumping a relocated coaster in a parking lot as a temporary way to draw more guests to the park. For 2030 and 2031, I think the park will open another two flat rides. Not sure which ones exactly, but I'm sure they'll be great. 2032, I think, will be a big year for the park. I predict the park will open a dueling launch coaster from Premier Rides or a launch B&M wing coaster from B&M along with a brand new front entrance. This park desperately needs a launch coaster that isn't as crazy as King Ka and offers a tamer experience. I predict this will be the third out of three new coasters Great Adventure opens in the next 10 years. If you look at my predictions, the only major investments I predict that this park will get is three new coasters, two which definitely fit in Six Flags' budget and a B&M Giga. I also predicted that park would remove their stand-up coaster Green Lantern, which means the park would have a total of 16 roller coasters. If this actually happens, Great Adventure could come home to the best intimate RMC and B&M in the same park since they'd have El Toro and their new RMC Hyper as well as their B&M Giga taller than Fury. These predictions really aren't that crazy and if they come true this park could truly become an even better park than it is today. Having the best intimate RMC and B&M in one park is amazing but this park would also have the world's best Woody and best steel coaster as well as King Daka the world's tallest coaster. They also have a record 6 B&Ms in one park and a bunch of other solid coasters. These predictions coming true would really be awesome and though I'm definitely being biased since this is my home park, I honestly do expect this park to start getting major investments once again.